first day has been spent with unpacking and setting up. Uh, the special cargo will unfortunately not be delivered until next week, but we have more than enough to occupy us in the meantime. Just got back from the labs. We successfully extracted a Kuru sample from Banoi and injected it into the HKEA modified anemones. Today, we discovered the first signs of the prions reproducing and reconforming into normal proteins. It's too early to be conclusive, but maybe HKEA actually can mitigate prion diseases after all, just like Crown said. <sighs> Progress is stalling. It's clear that the anemones aren't the right model. Our team has petitioned for the use of more suitable test subjects. We met more resistance to our request than I expected. I thought that the whole point of this laboratory was to circumvent regulations to accelerate medical advancements. But it was finally approved, and I will receive the first batch this afternoon. So, here's the plan. HKEA and Kuru are too dangerous to test together on humans. We need to use a different enzyme to see if HKEA can do its healing work. We've selected ADAR1, which should mock up some mutagenic activity safely. I'm eagerly awaiting the test results. This is the moment of truth. New candidates have arrived. We have put the valuable information gained from the initial testing to good use and have now started to synthesize Kuru and other viruses. The plan is to neutralize the viruses in order to train HKEA to work its magic. I can't believe I'm saying this. One of the patients is reproducing stem cells in his bloodstream as if they're normal tissue. We're really getting into unchartered waters here. I don't know what kinds of metabolic changes this might trigger. Exciting times. After the last finding, all experiments were focused on exploring this incredible stem cell discovery, tuning HKEA's nanomachinery to enhance the effects. We've put all efforts to produce an actual cure for Kuru on hold for now. Unbelievable! In some of these patients, the stem cell replication is so intense that it's as if it's rebuilding their bodies even as their brains go into hypoxia. The virus causes infected cells to coalesce along the spinal cord after the higher cognitive centers in the brain have been necrotized. The host body loses its higher brain functions and physical strength as the body continues to decompose while the function to move and act is, well, controlled by the virus to function as long as possible. I just saw something horrible that I don't ever want to see again. One of the patients was just terminated. I'm seriously questioning whether we have the resources to continue with this line of inquiry, as fascinating and tantalizing as it is. Well, I'm sleeping a little better now that I know we've shelved the HKEA project. It should have never been used to replicate prions in the first place. The whole idea is repulsive. I'm leaving this island as soon as I get my approval from Crown. <laughs>